Hey, welcome back to Hoffman Leatherworks. We are going to make a survivalist pouch that holds a uh, Altoids tin. It's great to put all your your little stuff in, your little fishing gear, some matches, keep it all safe and dry. So we start off like we normally do. We cut out our pattern. We, of course, we print it and make sure everything's to the proper scale. Then we cut out the pattern, give us some uh, individual pieces here. Today we'll be using some probably five six ounce chrome tan leather um, but we'll get this pattern taken care of here and take a look at what we got so we'll go ahead and uh, just rough cut some of the leather and go ahead and use scotch tape and just tape it down you can kind of use any tape you want but I just go ahead and tape it down some of this Chrome tan leather is a little bit hard to get certain tapes to stick, but um, I think if you got a little patience, you just kind of rub it in and it, it, it'll stay. So, so thanks again for coming and watching our videos here at Hoffman Leatherworks. Um, if you like them, please subscribe. It helps us out a lot. Make sure we can keep giving you more videos and if you have any questions of course leave comments we'll try to try to answer anything that we can but we'll go ahead and get all this leather taped up and we'll move on to punching it uh, for something like this I like to just use a you know piece of marble with a plastic cutting board and I use a one millimeter punch just a single. Some people use multiple punches. I generally just use the a single punch and one millimeter seems to be kind of my go-to on projects like this. So go ahead and get it all punched along with the belt slots. With this pattern there is also a, an alternative to put a leather, leather loop on there. So you can do that instead of punching holes, the inch and a half slots in the back. I like the slots better than the loop. It holds the, the pouch a little bit tighter to you. It doesn't flop around as much. So this pattern is pretty small. It doesn't take all that long to punch all these holes. You know, maybe 10-15 minutes, so... Go ahead and get everything, all the holes punched. Make sure they're all clean and we'll move on to the next step. If you notice, I wear a glove on my left hand there. It helps with holding the punch. get all that taken care of and take a look at what we got so at this time make sure to punch out all your your rivet holes and your um, belt slots if, if that's what you're using go ahead and just cut it cut the pattern out cut right on the line of course I use a little little straight edge when I can. So we're going to just round the corners here. This is the the back with the, the flap. So we'll go ahead and round those corners. So I use a straight edge whenever I can. You can use a leather punch to round those corners off, of course, if you like. I have the punches for that, but I generally just do it by hand. Seems like it's faster and just as clean. Now we'll move on to putting the, the button on, the snap. 
I put it on at this point. You could wait till last if you if you want, but e either way is fine. I, I just put it on and then it's out of my way. Go ahead and use uh bring over my little probably five pound anvil and go ahead and apply the snaps. These are just for a project like this, I just use a standard snap. I actually get them off Amazon. I'll leave the link at the bottom. They're actually, I, I think, pretty good. A pretty good value for these smaller projects. So check out the link in the description and I'll try to get it there for you. The cool thing about these rivets is you buy a pack of them. I, I forget how many there's in there, probably 300 or something, several different colors. But they always come with the, the tools needed to set them. So I have about 10 pair of those tools set uh, laying around here, but it's always nice. You always, you always have them. So we'll go on to sewing. This is um, kind of a final step. I use a one millimeter wax thread. And... So I'll, the three small pieces on first, I just kind of go around, I'll start on one side with the longer piece and then go to the bottom and then go to the other side and get them sewn. This isn't a great camera view, but uh, I think you get the idea if you have um, questions about actually hand sewing, we, we can go in depth with that if you'd like, but just a standard sta saddle stitch. Again, we use, if you notice, I use both of my gloves this time. I've cut the finger and thumb out. It just helps for me to, with the thread, it doesn't bite into your bare skin as much when you go to pull it tight. It always, I always get grooves in my, my pinkies of where I pull the thread tight and it, it digs in. And so I just um, have a pair of those stretchy mechanics gloves that I've, cut the finger and thumb off so this is just showing here where we're just um, finishing doing all three sides of the sewing and yeah, nothing nothing too crazy here but if you do have any questions about a saddle stitch or anything for that matter of course go ahead and leave it in the comments and I'll see if I can you know, help you There you see we got all all three sides sewn on and ready to go. Let's we'll start putting the front front on. Sewing this on just like sewing the rest of it. I just start at the at the top and work to the bottom and do the side, pick one side, do the bottom, go to the next side. Pretty uh, simple build here for a nice little very effective product Again, thanks for watching the video here made by me, Tim, with Hoffman Leatherworks. If you like the, the video, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Really appreciate that. That uh, kind of makes sure that uh, I can keep making these videos. 
we got uh, I got a whole bunch more planned so hopefully everyone enjoys them and see how it it all works here just keep on on sewing this is probably what takes the longest of this project but uh, that's okay A little hand sewing never hurt anybody I guess all of all of the stuff I sell and ship out is always hand sewing I, I don't own a machine I at this point anyway don't know that I ever will I just I don't know nobody's convinced me that it's a better way yet I understand that it's a lot faster but it's definitely not better so I use that little heat gun thing with a wire on the end that heats up and I that's how I stop my thread just give it a little melt instead of using the lighter or something that you put, could potentially burn the leather that too is on Amazon really cheap but great great little product I can leave the link to that for you too if you'd like but there you go Altoid tin fits just perfectly like I said you just fill that little tin up with all your little everyday carry supplies or survival stuff matches some starter fishing line couple hooks you're good to go thanks again for watching my video and please subscribe Thanks.